So, wow. Uh, I've never done a video like this before, but I just wanted to say thank you because I did manage to get to a thousand subscribers and I had no thought in my mind that that was going to happen anytime soon this year after starting this about five and a half months ago. Um, I had just come back to reading late last year, early January of this year after really not reading anything for the last decade. And I started with, I think I went to Barnes and Noble after watching several booktube channels. Um, and I just grabbed some stuff. I think I picked up uh, Final Empire, which was just marketed as Mistborn on the American cover that I grabbed. Assassin's Apprentice, The Eye of the World, maybe one other, I don't remember. But I started with Assassin's Apprentice and I was just like, oof. I don't really vibe with this. This is not what I thought it was. I am going to reread it now, but when I first read it, I was not not in a good spot. Um, and then I just, you know, I read The Final Empire and absolutely loved it. And I've gone from there. And now, you know, this whole thing down to the floor is full. I've got now sci-fi and horror starting over there. I was thinking about doing some kind of like picture or something here, but I'll probably just do another shelf. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. So I really just wanted to make a quick thank you video to everybody watching, everybody that subscribed, everybody that engages with me, comments on the videos. I love having all these conversations and chats in the comments about all the books that we're reading and talking about and just getting to meet so many awesome people, all these different discords that exist now. Um, I'm on, you know, Mike's server as a mod, so you'll find me over there. I'm on Jesse's server. I'm on a couple of Wheel of Time servers, the Wheel Reads and Nablus's server. I'm also on Elliot Brooks' server. So I am in all kinds of other people's discords, so I likely won't start my own anytime soon just because I feel like there's a lot of overlapping uh, audience here. But speaking of those people, I would not have grown as I did if it weren't for shoutouts, which I greatly appreciate because when I was... I want to say I was around 150 subs. Let me, hold on. Let me find it on my Instagram. Because funny enough, when I started this channel and I got to about 130, 150 subs, a buddy of mine who also was doing YouTube at the time challenged me to first to 500 subs. And I laughed at his face because the second that he challenged me was the day that Elliot Brooks gave me a shout out for my Malice review because she was going to read it. And then the numbers went kind of wild. So this was June 29th. I uploaded to my Instagram that I hit 210 subs. And that was just bonkers to me because I was just watching the numbers go up. And I think I ended up getting, I, I went up to like 500 subs pretty quickly from there because there was so much traffic being driven to me from her shout out. And then, of course, Jesse May gave me a shout out shortly after. And then Mike gave me a shout out as well. And just all these awesome bigger channels that I am lucky to be talking to and consider myself friends with really helped me out by mentioning my channel, just kind of driving some people towards my channel. And that is super helpful when you're trying to grow and get your name out there. So I would like to do the same thing. I want to talk about a few channels that I absolutely love watching right now. Most of them I have found somewhat recently. Others I've been following for a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to start with one of my favorite guys to watch right now, which is Alan over at the Library of Alexandria, because this guy is absolutely hilarious. He has so much energy. He brings so many good ideas and perspectives to the books that he reviews. He you know, has his own spin on BookTube, his own kind of, I guess, way that he goes about things. He does this neat little idea where he does his TBRs and he uses D and D figurines and throws a <laughs> throws a ball at them to pick what you know letter he's going to pick a book out of and chooses a book for his TBR. So he's being super creative. I want to mention the Fantasy Network, uh, my boy Jimmy over there, who left for a little bit. I think there was a hiatus there with moving and some other things, but he is fantastic. Love the guy. He is great. He's super active and engaging with his audience. He's always talking to me on Twitter and YouTube. Super cool guy. 
also a wrestler, which was awesome. I didn't know that when I first met him. Uh, that was super cool and interesting to find out. And his reviews are very well thought out. And I feel like he's super genuine in his talking points. So I greatly appreciate that. I also want to shout out the Nerdy Narrative, who I believe just hit 600 subs recently. It's probably going to be higher than that by the time this comes out. But she is super awesome. Leslie's a very cool person. I talked to her a decent amount now as well. And <laughs> we kind of bonded over Robin Hobbs' uh, hatred for Fitz in Assassin's Apprentice. So we've been joking about uh, just how she treats her poor main character. A couple of others who started, I believe, around the same time as I did. Joe's Review Journal, uh, who I guess you aren't uploading anymore, man. What's up with that? Upload some more videos. But he's great. I know he's covering not just books, but he wants to do movies and other things as well. Definitely give him a look. Uh, the Bearded Bookworm. This man is hustling, uploading constantly. And his shelves are looking like mine were, where it's like, go to one of his first videos where he has his new shelves, and they were sparse, like mine was. I had like a couple of books on mine. I'm looking at it right now on my monitor. Them shits is, is full, all right? He's getting a lot of books. Check him out. I also want to mention Philip Chase, who's just a super awesome guy. I feel like I'm learning something every time I watch one of his videos. He's just, he has a way of speaking that, you know, it makes sense that he's a professor. Um, just the way that he explains the books that he's talking about, and you can tell that he, he really thinks about these things in depth and is passionate about what he's speaking about. Just everything about his channel and his videos are great. So... I just wanted to shout out my current, you know, favorite booktube channels that I'm watching. Uh, obviously, I'm watching, you know, the the big guys and everything. Daniel, Murphy, all of them. Elliot. And lastly, I don't know how the whole community tab thing works. Uh, I assume I have to enable it somehow. I don't actually see that option yet. But as soon as I'm able to turn that on on my channel, I will start engaging with everybody more than just in the comment section um, because I want to do some, like, polls, things like that, like books you might want to see me read, giveaways, things of that sort. But I want to be able to engage with you all a little bit more outside of just trying to make a video about it or the comment section. So keep an eye out for that. As soon as I'm able to use it, I plan on it. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I just really wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, again, I didn't expect to grow this fast uh, this year. I assume it's going to slow down for sure, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep plugging at it, keep reading keep reviewing and I'm gonna try to start getting some more creative content on here as well that's not just the you know the standard booktube stuff that I am doing right now so keep an eye out for that and as always keep reading